Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Custom Animation in LibreOffice Impress. In this tutorial, we will learn about custom animation in Impress. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. First, open the presentation sampleimpress.odp. Let's click on the thumbnail Potential Alternatives from the Slides pane. This slide is now displayed on the main pane. Let's learn how to use custom animation to make our presentation more attractive. Select the first text box to the left in the slide. To do this, click on the text and then click on the border which appears. From the right side of the Impress window in the Tasks pane, click on Custom Animation. Click on Add. The Custom Animation dialog box appears. Notice that the Entrance tab is open. The Entrance tab controls the way the item appears on the screen. We will learn the other tabs in the later tutorials in this series. Under Basic, choose Diagonal Squares. You can also control the speed at which your animation appears. In the Speed field, click on the drop-down box, select Slow and click OK. The Effect field allows you to set animations options. The box at the bottom of the Effect field displays the animations that have been added to the presentation. Notice that the first animation has been added to the list of animation. Scroll down and click Play. The preview of all the animation you selected will now play on the main pane. Now, in the slide, select the second text box. Under Custom Animation, click Add. In the Custom Animation dialog box that appears, under Basic Animation, select Wedge. Set Speed at Medium. Click OK. Notice that this animation has been added to the box. Observe that the animation in the list are in the order in which you created them. Select the second animation. Click the play button. You can also select more than one animation to preview. To do this, hold down the shift key while selecting the animation. Click play. The preview of all the animations you selected are played. Now, select the third text box. In Layouts, click Add. In the Entrance tab under Basic, select Diamond. Set the speed to Slow. Click OK. Each animation comes with certain default properties. You can also change the order of the animation using the Change Order buttons. Let's look at the default properties for each animation and learn how to modify them. Double-click on the first animation in the list. This is the Diagonal Squares option. The Effects option dialog box appears. By default, the Effects tab is displayed. Under Settings, Click the Direction drop-down and select From Right to Top. This has the effect of starting the animation from the right and moving to the top as it progresses. Click OK to close the dialog box. Click on the Play button to observe the animation that you have added. Double-click on this animation again. The Effect Options dialog box appears. Click the Timing tab. In the Delay field, increase the delay to 1.0 second. This has the effect of starting the animation after 1 second. Click OK. Now, let's select the first animation. Click Play button. You can observe the effect of the change you have made on the animation. Double-click on the second animation in the list. This is the Wedges option that we set. The Effects Options dialog box appears. 
click the text animation tab. The text animation tab offers various options to animate text. In the group text field, select by first level paragraphs. This choice displays each bullet point separately. You can use this option when you want to thoroughly discuss one point before moving on to the next. Click OK. Click Play. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Create different animations and check the effect options for each animation. Let us now learn to view the animation effects we have made. Click on the slideshow button. Then click anywhere on the screen to view the animation. Animation is a good way to break the monotony of a presentation and helps to illustrate certain points which are difficult to explain otherwise. However, be careful not to overdo it. Too much animation will take the attention of the audience away from the subject under discussion. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learnt about custom animation, effect options. Here is an assignment for you. Create a text box with three bullet points. Animate the text so that the text appears line by line. Play this animation. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT NHRT Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.